chuck roast at 377 a pound. And let's take a look at what we got here. See this piece of meat right here? This is a wonderful chuck eye. Um, you could pull that out and that would make a really nice chuck eye steak. Um, this one right here as well would make a beautiful chuck eye steak. Um, and then the blade ribs above it. Wonderful piece of meat. See, this is what you'd normally get would be a nice citra cut chuck roast and that's what you'd put in the crock pot. See, the chuck eye itself isn't really there. It's these right here, the ugly ones with the piece of fat in it that deter people. But this right here is a beautiful steak and closest to the ribeye. It's amazing. All right, here we are. And these are the three chuck roasts that I had picked out today to produce chuck eye steaks out of. One of them I chose basically for the ribs and two of them I chose for the amazing chuck eye. And I'll show you right now. This one right here, this is going to be a gorgeous chuck eye. I don't know if you can see this right here. This is going to be a beautiful steak. We're going to pull that piece of meat out and we're going to basically cut that thing in half and make two nice chuck eye steaks out of it. And then see this blade rib? We'll see what we can pull out of that thing. See if we can uh, make some decent country style ribs out of it. But I'm not, I don't have a lot of promise on that one. But we'll get something out of it and I'll show you how. Now this roast right here, I chose this because of that beautiful blade roast, that beautiful blade rib, sorry. That is a gorgeous rib. This is going to make some wonderful country style boneless beef ribs. And then we're still going to have a nice chuck eye out of this too. So I chose that one for, mainly for the rib rather than the chuck eye. And, but this one here, my God, I got to admit, chuck eye wise, you see all the little micro fat in there which makes the chuck eye just an amazing steak. Here's that top meat that you'd find on the ribeye, or the cap meat that you'd find on the ribeye. And there's a nice little piece of it right there. Again, I'm not hopeful, real hopeful, with those blade ribs right there. But we're gonna see what we can pull out of this. But I think between this roast here and this roast here, and we are gonna be able to pull four or five beautiful chuck eye steaks that are gonna just melt in your mouth. And then we'll see what we get chuck eye wise out of this one. But we have a beautiful blade rib that we're gonna be able to make some nice ribs out of. All right, you guys, let's get started. All right, let's get to breaking down these chuck eyes. So we're gonna start with this chuck eye first, or this chuck roast first and we're going to be pulling this chuck eye steak out of it and then we're going to see what we can get off this this blade rib right here. We saw that thing's pretty darn sharp. Alright, so let's get into this piece of meat. So this is the chuck eye or chuck roast. Here's the back side of it. You see this big old piece of fat right here and then this is where that blade rib is. This is what we're going to be trying to pull off um, and turn into a rib, this part right here. Um, with this with this chuck roast, if you can look, but if you just pull this apart right here, this blade meat will almost just come off on its own. It really, really will. I don't know if you remember in the last video, I talked about the spider web, um, which is the fat splitting apart. And this is what spider web, that right there. So if you just take your knife and you just slice along that spider web, just pull it, and you can just honestly just pull this back See how that's just coming apart like that? It's really pretty easy, honestly, and truly. Um, we're just getting down in there. Got into a little bit of meat, but that'll be for the rib. And then there you go. There's your chuck eye. And then potentially your blade rib. Um, see that piece of meat? That looks just like a boneless ribeye. Right there. That is a boneless ribeye pulled off a piece of chuck. This is a $15 a pound piece of meat. Um, if you're buying choice Angus out of your service counters, you're looking at 18 bucks a pound, $19 a pound. So I'm just going to take this piece of meat right here, and we're just going to split this right down the middle. See how I've done that? It's just, we're just standing it up, and we're just going to split that thing right down the middle. Just like that. 
And then there are two nice chuck eye steaks. I personally am just going to pull a little bit of this fat off. A little bit of fat right there. Um, and those are two beautiful chuck eye steaks. I mean, you can't go wrong with this piece of meat. This is going to be ever bit as good as the ribeye would be. And here again, let's just take this little piece of meat here. You know, we're just going to cut a little of this off the back. Kind of even this up just a tiny bit. Take a little bit of this fat right here off the side of it. And you don't have to. You could cook, you could cook this meat with this fat on just, just like it is. Um, and it would still come out really nice. So right there, that's just a nice little boneless rib. This does have quite a bit of fat on it. Um, but this is also going to make a pretty nice little rib as well. There you go. Two beautiful little ribs. So let's put these off the side and let's go at these other two rows to get all of our chuck eye steaks that we want today. Again, we're going to get into this pot roast and turn it into chuck eye steaks. There's your chuck eye right there. There's your rib. And again, Go to the front of that thing. See where this, see where that top meat is right there? We're just gonna pull this apart, literally. And then take your knife get down into that. Oh, I got into a little bit of meat. Uh-oh. It's okay. Just follow the spider web down. Super, super simple. And you too can produce some beautiful chuck eye steaks. There's that rib. We'll make some nice ribs out of that. And let's get this thing split in half. So I just even that up a little bit, just get it, you know, get it where you can actually produce this piece of meat. And then we're just cutting right down the middle. Voila, look at that freaking, look at that thing there, huh? Look at that. Look at that. That is a beautiful ribeye steak made out of a chuck. You just can't go wrong, you guys. Um, if you can get this for $3.77 a pound, like, like I showed you, this is an $18 a pound piece of meat. Um, if you're on the ribeye side of it, and here we are being 377 a pound for a chuck eye, for a chuck roast, and we're getting a beautiful chuck eye steak that can be turned in, or is is a ribeye basically. All right, let's see what we got here. Like I said, let's just even this off a little tiny bit. Um, if anything, worst comes to worst, that is a gorgeous rib right there. And then there's just not much meat to that piece right there. Like I said, we're going to have a hard time with those two roasts because it doesn't have this beautiful blade rib on it. But we made it some country style ribs, so they were minimal on there. But if you look at the rib eyes that I pulled off this thing, or the chuck eyes that I pulled off this thing, Gorgeous. Even a chuck eye steak, if you go buy a chuck eye steak at the grocery store, you're still talking $12.99 a pound. That's expensive. It's expensive for meat. So I think for $3.77 a pound, we made even a, a small amount of ribs here, which could be a meal. And then you got one meal out of the two and another meal out of the, or depending on how many people you're trying to feed, of course. All right, let's get into this next roast and let's try to pull that beautiful blade rib off and see what we've been missing. Oh, wow. well, we're going to get a little bit out of it, but again, we're going to pull a nice chuck out of this thing as well. Um, let's get to the front of this thing, open it up a little bit. Actually, we want more down in this range. You see what we got here? So, on the other one, we were going to this tip right here and kind of pulling all that back. Well, they took, whoever cut this, they took a bit of that, that fat off for us. Um, so that we're going to have to start a little farther down so that we're not getting into the chuck eye. So I'm going to start right there. You see all that spider web? Let's get through the spider web. Oh yeah, just like that. And we're done. And then there's a beautiful chuck eye. And we're going to, when we see that chunk of fat, we're just going to get rid of that little chunk of fat right there. And then now we're down into some decent meat. And uh, 
There we go. We have a beautiful, beautiful blade rib. Now you can take this, you can split it in half. You know, you could do a number of things. Honestly, that makes some really nice stew meat as well. These things would make really nice stew meat. You could cut those up. When you look at that, I mean, those are gorgeous. That is a worthwhile, um, probably pound and a half of beef, of beef boneless country style ribs. And then these are gonna be great in crock pot. Um, you could chop suey these, make them into small little pieces, saute them with some onions and mushrooms or onions and say your favorite salsa or something like that. And really kind of cook these down and, and, uh, and give them a beautiful flavor. Um, and then put them on pastas. Uh, there's rice. There's just so many things you can do with this little piece of meat. Or you just take them just like they are with the country style rib. Um, you can bake them in the oven. You could also grill them. There's just so many things you could do out of these little boneless ribs. And here again, we still haven't even made chuck eye yet. So let's go ahead and make this chuck eye real quick here. Just gonna split it. And again, these are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pieces of meat um, that you're gonna pay an exorbitant amount of money for at the grocery store rather than taking advantage of a chuck roast ad that most of your local grocery stores and finding a beautiful piece of meat like this chuck eye steak that you could turn into nice grilled steaks. There again, you know, these are not as pretty as these other ones. You know, they were a little deeper into the, the chuck eye. Um, but again, these are going to eat really, really nicely. And I think for the money, you can't go wrong doing this sort of cutting at, at your house. Um, again, 377 a pound. Uh, even chuck eye steaks that they've merchandised for you and cut, they're not going to look as good as this. They're not going to be as thick as this. And you know, you're not going to get the consistency. So I believe in cutting this stuff on your own and making these beautiful, beautiful rip, uh, chuck eye steaks for the grill on your own. 377 a pound. You guys, let's save some damn money. Why not? Why not? Um, and you're going to impress your family. You're going to impress your friends. Um, and you need to be able to tell them that you pay 377 a pound for this beautiful piece of meat that they're eating. All right. Hey, you guys. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate your time. Thank you for spending some time with me. Again, my name is Tom from Tom's Interesting Talk. Please like and subscribe. That's what makes it go all go around. And thanks for saving money with me. Peace out.